Okay, so this is a bit of a short video that follows on from diagonalization. Uh, the idea here is what are going to be called symmetric matrices, which are pretty simple. And something that follows from them that relates to diagonalization and eigenvectors and eigenvalues called the real spectral theorem. Uh, the real spectral theorem is a bit complicated to prove. We're actually going to... Um, do just a, a proof for it for two by two in class. Um, if you kind of work from there, you might be able to see how inductively you can prove it outward. But we're just going to leave it at the two by two case and leave it for somebody else later on in mathematics to show you how to prove it for n by n. All right, so let's talk about symmetric matrices. Okay, so a symmetric matrix is just an n by n matrix where if I take the transpose of the matrix, I get that matrix back. Okay, so like a quick example here would be like 1, 3, 2, 3, 0, uh, 4, 2, 4, six would be a symmetric matrix, right? If I took the transpose of that, I'm going to get back one, three, two, three, zero, four, two, four, six. So the matrix is a transpose of itself that makes it symmetric. Symmetric are matrices that we like. Okay, because we have symmetric matrices, we're going to get something that's called the real spectral theorem. And what the real spectral theorem says that if A is n by n and symmetric, then the following are true. One A is diagonalizable. Two, um, all the eigenvalues of A are elements of the reals, so there are no complex eigenvalues. And if lambda is an eigenvalue of A with multiplicity K, then lambda has K linearly independent eigenvectors. So this is telling me that the eigenspace of lambda has dimension K. So <clears throat> Lambda has a full set of eigenvectors that are linearly independent according to its multiplicity. Um, a key note here is that the set of all eigenvalues, so the set of all eigenvalues oops of A is called the spectrum of A. So this is where this title spectral theorem comes from. So if I look at the spectrum of A, if A is symmetric, then A is diagonalizable. The spectrum are all reals, so it has a real spectrum. And if you have a lambda that has is, shows up more than once in the set of eigenvalues, it has that many independent eigenvectors. Another way of saying this is that A has a full set of eigenvectors if A is symmetric. Okay, so like again, in class we're going to prove this for the 2 by 2 case. It can be extended to the n by n case, but this is kind of a neat property that comes out of um, symmetric matrices. 
All right, so there you go.